Okay, so we're looking at algebra. And the first part we, we have to do is to basically simplify the expression that includes brackets. The second part is to replace letters with um, numbers. In this case, we call these letters variables. And uh, we also want to calculate the value of an unknown in an equation that includes brackets again. And the next thing we want to do is to write expressions in Y to represent length of a rectangle and area of a rectangle. Now the first part we're looking at is A. Now this question we I basically work out this early on. So we're gonna look at is the A part. We get we were given six x plus eight open bracket two x minus four y close bracket minus seven y. Now what I did here basically put some rules over here for multiplication. This is for multiplication. Okay, only. It also works for division, by the way. Same rules. That if we have if we have um unlike signs being multiplied, we get negative. Unlike signs being multiplied, we get positive. So positive times positive is positive. And notice negative times negative is also positive. Why? Because like signs multiplied produce positive. Unlike signs multiplied produce negative. Now let's look at this. We're given an expression. Uh, we have 6x plus and we have the product of a number times um, a number and a, a binomial expression minus 7y. So what we want to do is to multiply before we add or subtract. So we use distributive law to multiply out a bracket. Bring back the 6x. So we have 8 times 2 give us 16x. 8 times 4 give us 32. But notice positive 8 times positive 2x give us a positive 16x. Like signs, it was positive. Now we multiply the 8, the positive 8, by the negative 4y, we got negative 32. Why is that? Because they have unlike signs. A positive 8, we always have to consider the sign in front of the 8 and the sign in front of this term, which is minus, in this case our negative. They have opposite signs, so we get negative, and 8, 4 is 32. Why? And we, put back, we bring back the negative 7y that we're not using. Now in this step, we have like terms. Okay? 6x plus 16x. These are like terms, so we can simplify them. And when we're simplifying like terms, if the signs are the same, we add the numbers, in this case the coefficients, and keep the sign on the larger. So this, in this case where we have this, let's, we are simplifying this like term, they have the same sign, so we add the numbers, give us 22x, and keep the sign, well, of the larger, but it doesn't matter, they're the same anyway. These two terms, they are like terms, so we can simplify them. And notice that they have the same sign in front of them. So because they have the same sign in front of them, we're going to add them. Add the numbers, in other words, 32 and 7, 39. But because they are negatives, we've added 32 negatives to 7 negatives, and that will give us 39 negatives. Okay? You want to think of it like that. So the signs are the same. We add the numbers and keep the sign in front of the bigger one. So that's it. We cannot subtract 39y from 22x because they are unlike terms. Okay? So we're going to look at the second part. And the second part where we have basically substitution. So let's look at that. We're given and that, that expression here, b. And these are the, the, the values we're going to substitute into that expression. So this is part B. 6PQ plus 20 divided by 4R. Well, we're dividing the numerator by the denominator. There are 6 times a number. Let's work that out first of all. Um, 6 times P. P is 4, so we're going to put 6 times 4 times Q. Okay, 6pq means 6 times p, 6 times the value of p times the value of q, 6 times p which is 4, times the value of q which is 6, plus 20. Okay, and the answer we get to this, we're going to divide it by 4 times r, and r is negative 5, so 4 times r, or 4r, 4, 4 times negative 5, that's the value of r. Let's write this out, and what we're going to get, okay, 6 times 4, give us 24. And 24 times 6 will give us what? Let's do that on the side. Um, 6, 4 is 24. T 
times 6, 6 fours, 24 again, and 6 twos, 12, 13, 14, 144. So we have 144 plus 20 divided by 4 fives plus 20. And notice that the sign on this is positive 4 times negative 5. Okay, so we, what we're going to have there is um, unlike signs, multiplying on signs that are different, plus negative. 124, 144 plus 120 will give us what? So I'll give us 164 divided by 20. Now using the calculator, what would you get for this? Okay, so what we can do, we can divide by 10, and that will give us... Um, we're dividing by two tenths. Two tenths is what? Twenty. All right. Two tenths twenty. So we're going to divide by um, two and then ten, or we can divide by ten and then two. Dividing by ten give us sixteen point four, and divided by two give us eight point two. Okay. We can always double check this. Let's get a calculator. Okay, so we're going to have a 164 divided by 20 and gives 8.2. Okay, so that's our answer. 8.2. Okay, so we're looking at part uh, C. And part C is pretty simple. What we're going to do is to solve, and solve a linear equation. Okay, so we have three times binomial, two terms, expression equal 36. So how do we do this? We can do this several ways. Okay, so I'm going to do it both ways, and you can choose which method you prefer. Okay. Well, the first thing is that you might be familiar with distributive law, so we can remove the brackets. And so we're going to get is seven, three sevens, that's going to give us 21m. Three twos give us 6, and that will give us 36. And so we're going to have um, 21m um, equals... Um, 36 plus 6. So we're going to have 21m is equal to 42. And now we want to find m. Well, what is this saying, first of all? This is saying 21 multiplied by a number m equals 42. So what is m? 21 times the number give us 42. What is m? m must be 2. So m must be 42 divided by 21, which give us 2, because 21 times 2 is 42. Now let's plug it in the original equation, see if that works. Um, 7 times 2, because m is 2, 7 2 is 14, minus 2, that's 12, and 12 3 is 36. So it does work. The other method is um, interesting, and this is the other method I'm going to do for you. Is that since we're multiplying these two here, three times this number, this expression equals this number there. So what we can do, since we're multiplying, we can divide the opposite to cancel out the three, divide this by three. And the only reason I could cancel this off is because we're multiplying these two. If we have a plus here, we couldn't have done that. But because these are factors that produce 36, we can divide by three on both sides. And so what we have is 7m minus two. Once we have a one in front of the bracket, we can just remove the bracket. 3 into 36 goes um, 12 times. Then what we're going to do is to find m now by carry this over. So we're going to have 7m equals 12 plus 2 is 14. So we have 7m equals 14. And 7 times the number give us 14. m must be 2. Divide the side, both sides by 7. And we have m equal 2. 
1m equals 2. Okay. I could also say m equals 14 divided by 7, just like I did with this. So it's also fine. So either method, same results. All right, so we have the last step to do, the last uh, problem, which is going to be D. Okay, so we have to look at this problem. It says the width of a rectangle is y centimeter. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just this little part here. Just going to create a little space here. stuff okay so we have a rectangle and what we're told is that the we're told is that the width of a rectangle is y centimeter so let's call this the width y centimeter and the length is five more than its width now, how do you do this? If I say John received five dollars, okay, and Peter received three dollars more, how do we write that? Five plus three. Peter received three dollars more. We simply add three to five. So, once we're saying receive a certain amount more, we add, not multiply, but we add, okay? And so Peter will receive eight dollars, which is three dollars more than. John. Uh, so let's uh, play that up. So yes, the width is y, y centimeter. The length is five more um, that of its width. So if this is the length, it's five centimeters more. So whatever the width is, the length is five more. This is width, the length is five more than its width. So if the length is 10, then the width, sorry, if the width is 10, the length is 10 plus 5. Okay? We're not sure what the width is, so we use the y to leave it as that. It says, write an algebra expression in y to represent the length of the rectangle. And this is the width, which is y, and so the length must be y plus 5. So the answer to that is y plus 5. The area of the rectangle. So if we have that the, the, um, the, the the width is y and the length is y plus 5. We can find the area. The area of a rectangle is given as what? It's given as length times width. And so the area can be written as what's the length? y plus 5 multiply by the width. Now how do we show that we're multiplying um, the length by the width? Well, because the length is a binomial, a two-term expression, we put it in bracket. So we know that it's one number. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that by the width, which is y. So we can put a y here, but most times people tend to put a single term in front. Doesn't matter how you multiply it, does it? Width times length or length times with same thing. So that's going to be the expression. y times y plus 5. Okay, and that's it. Hope that was helpful, and good luck on your exams.